Now, Manchester United have triggered a one-year extension to keep the boss, Eric Ten Hag, at the club until 2026. Many thought the FA Cup final would be his last game at the club, but United's 2-1 victory over City looks to have saved his job. It means Ten Hag has won a trophy in both seasons in charge, and the Dutchman said yesterday, looking back at the past two years, we can reflect with pride on two trophies and many examples of progression from where we were before I joined. Ray, are you surprised they kept him on? No, I, I think that's the uh, probably the right move. Obviously, Pochettino was the one probably on people's minds. To say, well, where's he going to go after Chelsea? But I think they've made the right decision. I've given him another go. Um, he's had injuries. He's, he's had problems in the camp as well. And as you rightly said, he's won two trophies. Um, which, you know, you know how it is to win a trophy. It ain't easy. So uh, Manchester United have done that. Now, it's all about consistency in the league. That's the big question now. Can they do it week in, week out and play good football? That was excellent against Man City in the final. You know we can knock them for not winning that game. They deserved it. Um, but they've got to do that week in, week out now. If they can do that, and they'll be looking at, as you rightly said, top four is vital for Manchester United next yeah. season. And we don't know what's going to happen with Marcus Rashford either. Could he be on his way to PSG? We'll find out. Let's find out, though, though, how this news has gone down with Manchester United fans. We say a very good morning to the United View uh, presenter. Uh, it's Flex. Flex, a very good morning. Good morning. Good morning, fellas. I'll tell you what, I, I expected to hear Marlene coming on that little rendition there. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. <laughs> That was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Well, I tell you, we'll, we'll, we'll try and get Shaban to do a Marlene. Oh, don't yeah. worry, get your hands off my butt. Uh, oh, what, no Marlene. What Marlene. about then? What? What? what are, you, are you more comfortable now about United next season? Um, I think I think this was the best situation actually, and, and and when you look at the details of the deal and see that it's it's actually an extension rather than a new contract mm. with a substantial amount of years added on. I think it gives equal buy-in from both sides. I think what you had is Ineos conducting that review and sounding out other managers to have a look on the, on the market and see if they could find somebody that was better than who they already had. Some people take that as a lack of disrespect. Some people have seen that as going behind his back and 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 trying to do things in secret. I, I saw it a bit differently. I saw it as after an eighth place finish, there's new people, new ideas, um, new owners at the football club. They're going to want to conduct their own review and see where they where they come out at. And they've decided to, to stay with Eric Ten Hag. However, he also understands, Eric Ten Hag's not silly, he understands that after such a bad season, he needs to show something back. So I think at the most, I think what we've seen here is, is that Eric Ten Hag's been given an extra year at least, two years on paper, but in theory, an extra year to prove that he can right the wrongs of last season, to prove that it was the blip. And Ineos have said, well, I'll tell you what, We'll see how it goes. There's been a lot of change at the football club structurally. We've just got here. We can see you have done a lot good. People seem to think that Eric Ten Hag's legacy at United already is just one bad season, which is an eighth place finish and minus goal difference. It's actually two years. One good year where he finished third and got to two got to two cup finals and won one of them, which was a fantastic season, and one bad one. So they're saying, right, let's see how you go. We'll give you an extension on your current term so we don't have to change anything. And um, hopefully you can prove that you're the right man to take us forward, which I think he is. Yeah, all eyes will be on Marcus Rashford. Um, you know, he'd, he'd be disappointed this summer, not going to England, not being in the Euros at the moment. But <clears> what <throat> would you do if you're Marcus? Does he stand United or would you say, right, well, maybe he's, he, 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 needs to, he needs to change? I've toyed with this. I've toyed this, with this one, fellas. I mean, he, before the final... I'll be honest, and the lead up this season of how how bad he's been and how much he's struggled, it looked like a, a player who just needs a fresh start. It looked like maybe the club needed to go a certain way, a different way. Um, he's he's been particularly bad this season and, and amazing the season before, and I just think it's down to the player. I mean, there's a lot of Man United fans who have said would cash in and let's let's take the money. He doesn't want to be here anymore, but then. I'll be honest, sort of heartstrings of me, and it is a little bit of sentiment. I still think there's a player there, and I want to give him one more year. Me personally, I'm going to give him one more year yeah. on a personal. That's mm. me. But I know that I know that divides opinion across the fan base. But I want to see Marcus Rashford do well. The problem that he's had is that his career has sort of had this trajectory of of up and down. It's been inconsistent. He'll have one amazing season, one average season, one poor season, one amazing season, and he's and he's not young anymore. He's coming into his prime. He's not a young kid anymore. Yeah. Um, so <clears throat> it depends on Marcus, but I think if the right money does arrive at the table, 
I think it's something Ineos would look at, but I, essentially, I think Marcus Rashford has to has to agitate or sort of give signals that he wants to leave. And that right now, I don't believe that to be true. Yeah, but uh, Flex, wh- wh- where can United finish top four? Can we finish top four? Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, we can. Of course, we can. It's not going to be easy. There's got to be uh, to say there's got to be massive improvement is is an understatement. There's a lot to a lot to be done. Eric Ten Hag was was so adamant that, you know, the injuries was the reason why we were so bad. I think that's one of the mitigating circumstances, but also I think his stubbornness, I think his willingness to to, to change when we needed to change, which he did towards the back end of the season. Um, but we can finish top four, but it's all about who leaves the football club and who comes in as well, because the, the, the current squad needs needs surgery on it. It needs it needs an upgrade in quality. There's players there who need to who need to get off the books, which isn't always easy as well. And players are on big contract, big wages. So the new football structure got a, got a difficult task to do. But I think we I think they'll give him what he needs, and and it should be all eyes on Ten Hag, and he and he's got to deliver. So yeah, we can we can finish top four for sure. Nice one, Flex. Thank you. Cheers, United Frank. View presenter Flex there on Manchester United. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.